So today I'm talking about the symptoms of air in a cooling system, some of the causes of it, and how you go about fixing it if you do have this problem. And so what are the symptoms of air in a cooling system? Well, number one, you're going to have overheating. And when you go to turn on the heater, it won't blow out any hot air. And you could have reduced performance. But the most common reason is going to be that your engine's overheating. And so some of the causes of this is, is that the coolant got refilled, but it didn't get bled properly. Somebody went out there and flushed the whole system, and then they added coolant in, and they didn't bleed it afterward. It could be a radiator hose leak somewhere. And it's possible that there's a blown head gasket, but that's pretty rare, so that's not very common. So if you just recently filled the coolant or had it flushed or anything like this, then it might not have gotten bled correctly. So the system will need to get bled if that did happen. And how you go about bleeding a system, it can vary a little bit. Some vehicles don't need the air bled out that they have. They could do it themselves the way they were designed and built. You could just fill them up and you drive them like normally or let it idle for like 10, 15 minutes. They would just bubble out through the reservoir. But many vehicles do require it to be bled. So a common technique to to bleed the air bubbles out is that you use a container. You go buy these at an automotive store or or you can make your own. Some people will make these out of like plastic jug and water bottles and things like this, or even a big funnel that'll fit in there. You basically want to fit it into the reservoir or inside of the radiator. It'll depend on the vehicle. And you basically, you fill it up so that, so that the air will escape out, but it'll let fluid in as the air escapes out. And so what you do is you put this on, you fit it into the opening real snug, you add in the coolant, and you start the vehicle, you let it run for like 10, 15 minutes until it warms up and the bubbles will start bubbling out and you'll see the air escaping and you just let it go like that. If the coolant level gets low, you add a little bit more in and then you just go until all the air bubbles escape. And so this is a very common method and probably the most common way that you get air bubbles out of the system. You don't have to buy this container at a store if you, unless you wanted to. You can make your own out of like a water bottle or something like that and maybe some tape, something along these lines. There's a lot of YouTube videos on that too. But this is the basics of how you, most vehicles get the air bled out of the system. And another thing you could look for that's on some vehicles is right on the thermostat housing. Sometimes there's a bleeder valve on some vehicles. Again, it'll depend on the design. And this makes it very easy to get the air out. It'll just be a little valve. You just locate where the thermostat housing is. And it, sometimes there'll be a little valve on there. And if you press this, it'll let the air escape. And so while this isn't super common, you do see this every now and again. So it's something you could look for since it makes it very easy to get rid of the air bubbles. But again, not all vehicles will have that. And so what are the symptoms of air in a cooling system? Well, overheating, the engine's likely overheating and if you turn on the heater the heater is not going to work and so if you have this issue first thing go check the radiator fluid and be sure it's correct you could buy some more radiator fluid and you could top it off and some cooling systems are designed to bleed themselves so sometimes they'll just naturally work itself out you could you could drive the vehicle around and then you could come back after you drove it top it off a little bit might be a little low after it bled some of the air out and that does work on some vehicles other vehicles you'll need to manually bleed them and the most common way to do this is is with a funnel-like device that goes onto the reservoir usually, but it can also go onto the radiator and you fill it with fluid. And then after, when the engine warms up, all the air escapes and it lets coolant into the system. And you just do that until the air bubbles disappear. And on some vehicles, you could have a bleeder screw that makes it easier that when you press down on it, it lets all the air escape. And so it could just vary. You wanna check your particular car and engine for how you go about doing it properly. But this is very common methods for how you would go about bleeding all the air out of the cooling system. And so that's basically it. I just want to give a real quick basic overview of the symptoms of air in a cooling system and how you go about fixing it. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me. I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.